Lila the Lemur Has a Vision by Debbie Happy Cohen with cover art by Vito Acosta. Once upon a time, a little lemur stepped out of her hole in the tree where she was born for the very first time in her life. Because of the extended cold weather outside, her parents had hunted for food for Lila and her siblings long past the time they normally would have. And in lemur years, Lila was almost a teenager. On this fine morning, as Lila stood in the open air, the first thing she noticed was the smell of fresh grass baking in the sun. And the sun, oh, she had to close her eyes for almost a minute just to get used to the bright light. When she heard the shrieking of hawks flying overhead, she quickly ran back to the safety of her tree. A little while later, when the hawks were gone, Lila and her siblings began exploring the countryside. The trees quickly became their playground, and they figured out that plucking fruits and eating them was delicious, nutritious, and fun. Lila particularly enjoyed jumping from tree to tree, and though she liked mimicking the monkeys, squirrels, and even lions, she always ended up sounding like a lemur. One day, while sitting on her favorite branch of her favorite tree, a coney coney fruit about the size of an apple fell from an upper branch and landed, bonked her right on the head. Instinctively, Lila grabbed her branch tightly so she didn't fall, but all of a sudden, she found herself surrounded by the most beautiful light she'd ever seen in her life and the most pleasant sensations of peace and gladness filled her entire body and mind. Magically, she could see her mom and dad in their cave eating a meal of cabbage and bugs, and she could see and hear her baby sister, Melissa, in their cave saying her first word, Mama. And then Lila saw a hawk catching a mouse and feeling satisfied and full. And she saw a mama lion nuzzling her cubs. And oh, the love she felt kept growing bigger and bigger. And then Lila saw some trees that she'd never seen before with fruits that looked beautiful and different than the ones she knew. And she saw herself tasting them and they were so juicy and sweet that she drooled a little bit and immediately woke up out of her trance. After a few minutes of resting and reflecting on what just happened and gently touching the new bump on her head, Lila made her way home. As soon as she entered, Melissa said, Mama! And her mom looked at Lila and said excitedly, She's been saying mama all day. Melissa spoke her first word today. And in that moment, Lila knew her vision experience was real. And she knew her connection with all creatures and beings, including trees. And she knew that the love she felt was the most powerful feeling in the world. And more important than anything, Lila knew she could take this feeling and experience with her wherever she went and that somehow her life would be more beautiful by keeping close to it the way you'd nuzzle up to your mom or dad in winter to keep you warm. Melissa said mama again and brought Lila's attention back into the room. And she gave Melissa a great big hug and swung her around in circles a few times while Melissa squealed with glee. Their mom and dad smiled to each other as they finished their meal of cabbage and bugs. And Lila's siblings all came back home as it was almost dark. 
that night before bed while the lemur family gathered around a tiny fire. Lila told them of her adventure and her vision. When she was done sharing, Jimmy, her older brother, said, Say, sis, maybe you can bop me on the head tomorrow so I can have that experience too. Lila laughed and said, I'm not sure it works that way, brother, but I have a feeling that if you close your eyes and let yourself feel big, big, big love, bigger than you've ever experienced before, you can feel it too. It's part of us. It's around us always. It's who we are. Well, Jimmy didn't quite catch on that night, but her sister Sarah felt the big love, and her mom said that she felt it too. Maybe it was a girl thing, they wondered. But then Dad felt it. And Jimmy, he let himself enjoy just being with his family. He didn't have to have Lila's experience to absolutely know that he was a really lucky lemur and that this was a really great day. And the lemur family, well, they snuggled up extra close that night and they all had the sweetest dreams ever. The end. Lila the lemur has a vision was brought to you by GetFairyTales.com, where we are creating a new world, one audio at a time.